Hi guys, Stone Davis from Goalshape.com. We're here at the Cambridge Golf and Conference Centre today. In my hands I've got three new clubs from Mizuno, all of the same family. It's called the Mizuno JPX 900. Uh, and they're coming in for kind of late 2016 and 2017 season. So they work basically from a kind of uh, mid mid-range uh, cavity uh, aimed at those kind of um, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 handicappers, maybe slightly lower than that, to a, uh, which is the hot metal version. They've got a Mizuno Forge version, uh, which has got a slightly smaller head, uh, slightly less cavity, and then they've got a tour version, which really is pretty close to being a blade. Um, so I'm going to hit each of these in turn, um, see how they perform, see how they get on, tell you a bit about the technology, and we'll try and compare them against each other. First thing to note then, when we look at the comparison, we've actually got three different shafts in these. So we've got a, uh, an NS Pro Modus in the hot metal, uh, I've got Project X in the Forge version, Sorry, the, uh, yeah, the Forge version, and then I've got a Dynamic Gold S300 in the Tour version. And the S300 is the club, uh, the shaft that I play at the moment, so I'll be most interested to see how that one performs. So we're going to give these a go now. Starting with the, the JPX 900 Hot Metal. So the first thing to note, it's got a pretty chunky head for a Mizuno. Uh, quite unusual. I mean, they obviously have their major game improvement, their super game improvement irons, which are really big heads. But this is more of the kind of Forge look, close to their blades than that sort of thing. So it's quite a big head for that, that kind of iron. Uh, it's got a pretty deep undercut cavity and a lot of weight down to the, to the toe and the heel of the club and also up to the top end of the toe uh, and around the top. So you've got a load of stability there, really making it a very stable uh, iron to hit. Now, they've used a hot metal, as it says in the name, a hot metal in here, so they've used a fairly hard steel but they've mixed it with a new, uh, new technology they're calling chromology. And what this does is allows them to make the face a bit thinner um, and it's got a variable design in there. And it also allows them to make it much more custom fitable so that it's much easier to bend, much more pliable metal. So when they come to do custom fits, they can move it around and make sure you guys get exactly the setup you need. So first thing to note when you look down, it's got a real nice kind of um, satiny chrome finish here. So it's been brushed off, uh, looks pretty smart. It's got a pretty thick top line, although it's a, it looks like a forged club, it's got a pretty thick top line, so there's a bit there to inspire confidence. So I'm going to give this a go. Okay, a bit of a thin one there. Doesn't quite pick that up by the looks of things. It was obviously that bad, I'll give it another go. Okay, that's much better. So first thing to note, even though it's got this top line and this kind of harder metal that you might expect in a, in a club like this, you're still getting quite a lot of feedback and feel from the club, which is really nice. I've got that out there at a decent dis dis distance, 186 yards, which for me is pretty, pretty good with a six iron. So pretty impressed with it so far. Let's give it one more hit. Okay, it's come out pretty nice as well, maybe slightly out of the toe, so we'll see how that performs. One thing to note is, as I said, these are really stable, they've got a lot of, lot of uh, weight around the perimeter, a lot of weight on the toe and the heel, so you're not going to get this twisting and bending and sliding off the face, and that was apparent with that one. I'm a bit down on distance because it came out of the toe, but it flew pretty nice and straight, and I didn't lose it left or right as a result of the miss hit. I'm going to give it one more hit. Okay, really like that. So, I mean, despite it being a big head, I wouldn't be too upset at putting these in my bag myself. You know, I've played blades over the years, so this would be not really aimed at me, but I'd be quite happy to stick them in the bag. A little bit down on distance again, 173 yards, but pretty happy with that. I'm now going to move on to the Forge version. So now in my hands I've got the JPX 900 forged iron. So this is a bit smaller than the hot metal, although it's still got a lot of weight, a bit of an underscore cavity in here, quite a lot of weight going back from the toe and the heel, which I like, but it's just a bit more sleek, a bit more smaller head, a bit more compact, um, and no doubt when we look at it, the top line is going to be a bit thinner. So the other thing to note with this is as you progress down through the JPX 900 range towards the better player irons, um, they've changed the way that the metals are produced. So this one uses a 1025 uh, carbon steel, which is much softer than the metal that was used in the hot metal, uh, but they've also mixed it with boron forge, so the boron really gives it an extra strength to it, and this, what this allows them to do is make the face a bit thinner, um, so you get that trampoline effect, and they've also made some variable stuff in the face there, so um, 
Still conforming with all the RNA stuff, they're getting the maximum they can out of the club. So they've been really clever with the way that they mix the metals, the way they forge their iron. So, uh, and it gives a lot of performance. So, first thing to note as you put this down is that top line. It's quite a lot thinner than the hot metal. Um, much more like a kind of forged player's club. Just going to have a hit with it. Okay, that's come out pretty nice. It's actually gone quite a bit lower as well, and I think that's pretty noticeable in the flight. 177 yards. So about a similar distance to the hot metal, which is maybe slightly surprising. I'm going to give this one more hit. One thing also to note with Mizuno, I mean these have turned up with uh, Golf Pride multi compound grips on, so you know, along with the shafts they're using, they're using absolutely top end components. And really that allows them to make up a really top, top notch set of clubs. Let's give this another go. Yeah, I really like that. Much more penetrating ball flight. And all that is is the extra weight off the top of the club and the bottom of the club is making the ball fly a bit lower. I've got some good distance out of the game, 176 yards. So I'm a bit more consistent with this one. Which is kind of what I'd expect really from a from more of a forged players club. Let's give this one more hit. Okay, I really like the feel of that. I mean, as you expect from Mizuno, you're getting tons and tons of feedback. I'm probably getting more feedback. It's noticeable from the hot metal, although it has to be said, the hot metal was really impressive for the size of the head it is, the amount of forging it had and the feedback it's given me, but this is really taking it up a notch. It's not too difficult to hit. Because it's got this kind of undercut cavity and still got a lot of weight around the perimeter, it's giving you that kind of feedback and feel, but also, you know, that forgiveness that you might need. So. For a lot of you guys out there, for someone kind of 12, 14 handicap and below, going right down to, to the scratch handicap, you'd expect them to seriously think about putting this in the bag. It's one for a, a whole range of guys. I'm going to move on now to the next club. So right now, I've got the JPX 900 Tour Iron. So this is the one I was really excited about, having played Blades in the past, actually having played some Mizunos in the past. This looks the real deal uh, for 2016, 2017. I think it looks absolutely fantastic in the back. It looks quite futuristic. Although it's not a complete blade, um, it's got a little bit of cavity in there. I don't think you should be fooled. It's definitely gonna play a lot like a blade and there's not gonna be heaps and heaps of forgiveness. So um, I really like the way it the looks on the back. Like I said, it's got the satin uh, finish to it. Um, when you put it down, it's, it's pretty close to being a complete blade. It's got a very thin top line, uh, a bit shorter in the head quite a lot of squatter. I suspect I'm going to get quite a lot of feedback and feel and I'm going to be able to work this one if I want to. Yeah, it's, it's pretty sweet out of the face, it has to be said. Exactly what you'd expect from a new Mizuno one. A bit down the distance straight away, you can see, and that's the lack of uh, weight and stability uh, in the club. It's just, you know, I'm going I'm to sacrifice that distance to get that forging feel and manoeuvrability. One thing to note, this is made of a, a, of a, a different type of metal, a softer steel, um, and it's really a full-on forged club. So it's not gone in the chromology, it's not gone in the boron forging in there. This is pure, uh, soft feel uh, for the ultimate kind of feel and forgiveness, uh, feel and feedback, sorry. Yeah, really like that. It's definitely quite a lot harder to hit. But it's giving me exactly what I'd expect from a forge club. It's probably, I mean, it's probably a bit easier than a full out blade. I mean, if you took a Mizuno um, MP5 or something, you find it harder to hit than this. Um, but this is giving you pretty much the same sort of performance. I'm going to hit one more shot with it. Okay, nice, it's kind of buttery soft compared to the others. I'm definitely losing a bit of distance uh, there and a little bit of stability, but uh, it's buttery soft. So guys, there's, there's three different options for you there. Um, I have to say, I think probably the, the middle line is gonna be suitable for most guys out there. If you're looking for a lot of forgiveness, the hot metal is definitely one you should try. Uh, it's gonna give you that soft feel that maybe some of the others on the market with that side of the head won't. Um, and if you really want a bladed style club, you want to look down on something with a thick, thin top line, uh, the tour is going to be one for you, but you will sacrifice a bit of distance and a bit of control. So 
Guys, we'd love to know your thoughts on these. Uh, don't forget to comment below if you've hit them or you're thinking about getting them. And uh, if you've got any questions on the video, uh, we'll try our best to give you some answers below. And if you're watching on YouTube, also hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you next time.